Welcome to MacBreak Studio. We are looking at editing without a mouse. So we're looking at doing, first of all, dynamic trimming. So being able to- You're gonna to, explain what a dynamic trimming I will, is? I will, We're gonna do a dynamic trimming, which is trimming on the fly while the playhead's going. We're gonna trim an edit point, both video and audio. Um, and we're gonna do it without a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the whole thing with keyboard shortcuts. Right. That's, that's the goal here. And right. the purpose of this is like, you can be fast uh, with keyboard shortcuts and dynamic trimming is kind of fun and some people say you can't do it. So let's show them that you can, okay? You can't so, do it. Well, let's, let's see, it. let's see. Okay, <laughs> so we have this shot here of this man and woman on a date and I'm gonna play these two clips here. So let's play the way it is right now. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water, open water. All right, so this is like a rough string out and there's some overlap, there's some repeating, right? Okay, how big uh, of a shark are we talking about here? Open water, open water. Okay, so she, the big thing is she says open water twice. Let's first fix that. So um, up arrow to get to the edit point, I'm gonna press the right bracket key, excuse me, I'm gonna press the left bracket key to select the outgoing edit point. Right. And I could start trimming right now, but I'm gonna play back. Now, you need to make sure loop playback is turned on. I could check the menu, but I don't have a mouse right now, but um, Command L will turn on looping. So uh, we'll find out if I have it on or not. I'm gonna press Shift and the forward bracket key, which will start loop playback. Open water, open water. By the way, I'm gonna stop for a minute just so you can hear me. Um, <laughs> If uh, you don't like the amount of playback range, you fix that in your preferences, in your editing preferences. You right. pre-roll and post-roll duration, which are two seconds by default. Open water, open water. Okay, so I can start to trim back this outgoing clip with the period and comma keys. In fact, the comma key will back it up a frame open. at a time, or that takes a little while. Instead, I'm gonna use Shift X. So open. right when the playhead is about where I want it to be, after he gives his line, I'm gonna press open Shift X. And see how that works. How big of a shark are we talking okay, about? Okay, and I haven't, it's continuing to play. Open water. Man. How big of a shark are we talking about here? Open, open Maybe I'll make it a little tighter. Man. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about? And now about? I want to switch to the other edit open point. Water. So this time I'll press the okay, right bracket key. And now I'm on that side of the edit point. Man. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about? So I could tighten up. Open. Man. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water. And too it's much, too tight. Too much, yeah. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water. Okay, and maybe I want to see how it feels with getting more reaction on her. Open water. A little beat there. Big yeah, got a little beat. I'll fix audio later. Open water. I kind of like hanging on her a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's that thinking got, about it for right. a second. And now I've got the right points each, but maybe I want to roll the edit. So instead of the bracket keys, I'll press the backslash key, which is right next to those bracket keys, and that will select both sides of the edit point, and I can use the period and comment keys to roll that edit. Open water. Okay, so I'm gonna stop playback for a minute. Mm -hmm. So clearly, while you're playing back, uh, you can go through this process of taking both the audio and video and trimming either side or roll them. Now, let's say I'd like to look at a version where um, we hear her say open water while we still see sure. him. We'll do a split okay, edit. yeah, so. Open, open water. Okay, so I wanna be that on, have that be on the other side of this edit point. So I'm gonna shift X to move that edit point and play that through. Shift forward open slash. Water. Man -eater. I'll do that again. Open water. Okay, Man now the problem with that is that line open water is actually off of his mic. Right. Right, so I wanna get inside of these um, clips here and I don't have a mouse, but I press the C key to select this clip. Control S will expand the audio. Command left arrow will select the previous clip. Control S will expand that audio. And now with these expanded, I'll press the down arrow. And instead of just holding down the um, right bracket key, shift right bracket uh. will select just the audio. And from there, I could continue to play back. I'm not going to now, because in reality, I probably wouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, but I can use the period and comma keys to bring back her line Okay. until we can see it. And I'll, I'll command plus to zoom in a little bit. So I've got that, but now I want to select his um, line and bring it back. So I'll shift left bracket and trim his back. Again, I'm just using the comma key here. Maybe to, I don't wanna see, I can see her line. I don't even need to, I can see it right there mm -hmm. in the waveform. And let's try that. Shift. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about here? 
open water. Great. So now I've got that. Okay. Yeah. So now I've got her line correct by doing a split edge. Sure. Now, the thing is, I'd really like to uh, crossfade these just to finish it up. With your default commands, there's not a keyboard shortcut for doing that. Mm -hmm. However, um, in fact, I am going to use a trackpad just to show you under the... You're cheating. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not, but I'm not going to actually do anything. I want to show you under modify adjust volume, there's no keyboard shortcuts for applying uh -huh. uh, fades or toggling fade in and fade out. But let's do this. Option command K will bring up the command editor. The up arrow will open up the menu in here. So I'm not using a mouse. I'm going to select my warp speed editing command set because in that command set, I'll press return. I'll press command W to close. I'm going to cheat once again just to show this under my modify adjust volume. I now have keyboard shortcuts. Because you're saved in that I, command set. In that command set, yeah. So if the fade in is control, option F, and the fade out is control option with the shift key added. Yeah. So um, uh, command two to make sure the timeline selected, and then C, and then shift control option F will add that fade out, right. and then command right arrow to select the next clip, and control option F will put a fade in there. So you cross okay. in between those, yeah. Cross fading between them. So I'll play it one more time. Open water. Man. And maybe I'll just use the up arrow to go to the beginning of his line. Okay, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water. Man eater. Okay, so we've done a, a regular video edit, we've right. done a split edit, and added crossfades, dynamic tribbing with, with no mouse involved. <laughs> Kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're tapping your, your, your fingers a little bit there. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me have the mouse. <laughs> no, that's great because like a lot of people don't even know that, you know, that you can select to see at a point of just the audio. Right, yeah, right. shift in the left the and right shift. bracket keys. Yeah. Very useful. And in reality, often I will use a mouse, but certain things, especially applying those fades, um, or being able to play back and just tap a couple keys to check an edit point a few frames one way or another yeah. is super useful and you want to use a keyboard to do that. Awesome. Okay. Cool. By the way, uh, if you want more of these awesome uh, warp speed effects tips or editing tips, he's got a really great tutorial called Warp Speed, warp speed. Editing. Right? You want to check it out on our website. It's really, really great. Um, thanks, Mark. Thanks for the Thank good you. one. All right. And we'll see you in the next episode of Matt Break.